up everyone? Welcome to another vlog. I hope you're well. I hope you are enjoying yourself. Uh, thank you for joining me today. We hopefully got some fun happening today, even on this rainy, rainy Tuesday. First off, let me tell you something. I'm a little bit annoyed. Last night, I was minding my own business, just fine, eating uh, a bowl of cereal. My crunchy nut flakes decided they wanted to have a little bit of a fight with my mouth. And one of them sharp little flakes had been cut me in the mouth. And I know, sounds weird, but now I'm in pain <laughs> because the flipping crunchy nut flakes decided to cut my mouth. Today, what is the plan? That is a great question. I've got some things I can do on the mini. I've got some bits we can work on upstairs in the studio. So we're gonna take this day probably casually, just work on some things as and when we feel like it. All right, so I've just done one of those things where I watch a few more videos regarding the mini and I realize that I'm at probably further away from actually having it finished and running than uh, than I want it to be, which is highly annoying, but I think that's that's where we are. So there's probably a few more parts that I need to order. I might go out now and try and do the brakes. I've got everything I need to fit the lines. So I might just nip out there and give it a go now. The weather outside is absolutely skank. Oi, what are you saying? All right, we're in the garage and I'm freezing. It is Baltic out here, but I've come out with some of the parts that we're gonna be using. These are the bits that have ended up not working, which is chill. A couple little bits that maybe at some point in the future we might need, could use, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna lob those somewhere. What we are gonna do, pull this off the end, replace it with the correct ones. So we're just pulling these old one off. I say old. What I mean is the incorrect one. Because man did it wrong. That's all right. Living and learning. This will come out all the way. Right, so there we go. This was designed for something else. I'm gonna re-trim the ends of these so that, come on, focus, there we go. So they're not quite as frayed. There we go, that's what I want you to see. These bits here. So I'm just gonna grab the ends, trim them. My hands are freezing me. I've got to put me some gloves on. So cold. <laughs> myself with the thumb. Ah. My cut proof gloves are not cut proof. Ouch. Ah! Look, it's supposed to be cut level five. Ah, that hurt. Ah, man. Okay, well that was exciting. Alright, so. The olive. 
has gone on. And then we gotta get this inside. <sighs> like that, I think. Do it more. So long as it isn't going anywhere, I'm okay. been a long time. It's taken me forever to get that done. But it's there, I've got it, we're good. We're good in there now. Uh, I'm gonna need to bleed the brakes when I get um, a little easy bleed kit, which is coming soon. I don't know when, but it's coming soon. Next things really are electrics, like good and proper, get them in there. I've got the harness is, is really nearly ready to go. One thing that's been really annoying me is the hinges for the bonnet uh, or the hood or whatever you wanna call it. I can't, uh, I can't. The bolts are like recessed somewhere, getting them out, absolute nightmare. That's kind of annoying. Apart from that, everything's kind of getting there. Like I mentioned this morning, the clutch needs some work <laughs> and I'm gonna get there because I believe I did clutch swap basically or well it's a, it's a it's a conversion essentially I'm going from what is known as a verto to pre-verto clutch conversion and there's a kit I think that is actually really simple to fit it just means I need to pull more things out to get it back in. And I'd rather do it now because I've got to bleed the clutch anyway because I put new clutch lines on. So I've got to bleed the clutch anyway. So I might as well pull the old slave cylinder off the clutch now, get a new one in to get it fully converted over to pre-verto clutch. It's all that kind of stuff. I'll, I'll show you, look, 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 look. So in here, that right there, is the Verto slave cylinder. We've got our master cylinder up here for the clutch, the big old one there. And essentially, we need to convert, so this whole plate here, this whole plate will end up, you probably can't see that, this plate here. Come on, fuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, there we go, right. This plate here, this black plate, uh, will come off. It's got, what, two bolts up here, two bolts that hold the slave cylinder in. So those four bolts will come out, and then the pre-verto uh, slave cylinder actually fits up top here uh, on these two bolts. And then there's a new rod that will come up here, has a spring. I believe it would be relatively easy to switch in and out. But when has anything ever been easy on this car? It's looking, it's looking saucy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, it's looking incredible. I'm, I'm happy. Let me, uh, let me pop a light on the inside and show you the inside. Inside right now is looking pretty damn good. We've got most of our wiring 
you probably can't see this too well. We've got all of the plugs ready to go up in here. We've got our plate in here ready to go with all our switches. Uh, I've got the blanking plate for the bulkhead there. New gear shifter is in all that kind of stuff. Wheel, I just got to work out how to get this cowl fully installed because it's currently just sat on there at the moment. Um, as you can see, it falls off. There we go. But yeah, the inside of this is obviously there's no seats. I have them, they're just out because it makes it way easier to work on the inside of this. But yeah, I am very excited. Oh yeah, I want to work out how to um, adjust the doors slightly so that they sit a little further in because at the moment they're not closing properly. There's a slight bit of movement, which you probably can't see on camera. And then once we get a bunch of that done, we can finally clean. We can clean our boy up because he's well dirty. Well dirty. But yeah, that is, that's going to be it for work out here now because I'm cold and I want to go back inside. There we go. So I feel as you in a little bit on the mini. We're making some sort of progress, little by little, tiny little bits at a time. Uh, just clean up the mess. Well, only a little bit of mess, but not too much. And then uh, get back inside because it's cold out here. It's real cold. Just me, or does anybody else find that when the weather's really bad, it's just not conducive to being productive. I feel like I'm just lethargic. I don't want to do any actual work. I'm just procrastinating about everything. I still don't feel like I've done anything productive. I had a bit of dinner. I say dinner. I had a bit of lunch. Lunch was, lunch was fantastic, but I'm still really hungry. So I've actually just made myself a little cheeky bowl of oats. Fancy some oats. Look, I'll show you my oats. Here's my oats. My oaties. Also, flipping Matt Butler, getting me into the full fat milk is dangerous. Look at all this. Honestly, what are you doing to me? Man. It's true though, Matt. I agree with what you're saying. The blue milk, woo is it's good taste. Cereal with blue milk is tons better. I was a green milk guy. I was a green milk guy. I still am a green milk guy, I think. I still rate green milk. But this blue stuff, ooh, it's just, it's, it's significantly creamier. I'm not, I won't lie to you. It's a lot creamier. It's the good stuff. It says put it in for two minutes. If anybody gets the stuff, it says put it in for two minutes. My word of advice, don't put it in for two minutes. Put it in for a minute and 40 seconds. And then let it sit, give it a good stir. And you will have, rather than like, you know when you have oats and they're just like super dry? Anybody eat oats? Like porridge and it's just, really really dry I get that sometimes but I have begun to perfect the perfect oats there we go maybe that's not to your liking but it really is to mine and that's all that matters well look I'm not trying to make this vlog or this channel a flipping dinner food kitchen channel but I'm about to tell you about my dinner, because it's basic, but great, right? Look, 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 here. If anybody knows about this stuff, it is phenomenal. 
like I mean this probably isn't good this this is probably less good but this is fantastic and then I think we're probably gonna finish it with we've got some classic classic number one basil potentially or number 14 basil I don't know which one's good or whether they're any different but there you go um, so that's that's what we're gonna eat there you go dinner Ooh.